remember, people. It was mean of me. I was just being mean and controlling when I refused to allow my mom to walk home or any longer on her own. Mean and controlling when I asked my mom to please not cook if I wasn't home. After all, her sister's having her in her own apartment. Marion's not concerned at all about my mom cooking. My mom's going to be doing all her own cooking because that's why Marion said, I want one frying pan, one pan, one, one teapot, one whatever. Okay? Marion's not concerned at all. To Marion, to she, the way she could twist everything around, I just, I'm, I was just being overbearing, controlling, or whatever, for no reason at all. And that's why this is just, the situation is sick. I told you guys why I wasn't going to have my mom walk home or anymore. I told you how the neighbors saw my mom this last time walking Angel in the middle of the road and yelled at her, get out of the road, Samantha. I told you how I've seen my mom not pay attention and, and nearly sit on Omar, which would, would probably kill him, but the woman who takes care of Angel saw my mom, she told me, she's like, yeah, I had to yell at her, she was, wasn't paying attention, was about to sit down on Angel, okay? All of these types of things, oh, and not being able to find stuff in front of her face, all right? Not being able to, that's all signs of dementia. Okay? But clearly Marion's unconcerned because she's going to have my mom have free reign to cook. Because she just, anything that I, any, I was just being mean. That's why of course my mom's going to jump at that. And of course Marion could twist everything around. Oh yeah, the daughter just wants her mom in a nursing home. I, can, I know what Marion said. I know what she said. It's all a bunch of hooey. The people around here know. The woman down the street knows how I was crying my eyes out over my mom, and for her, it was it, to her it was like she's like I thought about oh uh, I thought about you. Um, she's like I was thinking about you last night, um, you know. And then, it, 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 but she kept pushing me. She's like you, your mom belongs somewhere. You have to do something, Laura. It's your duty. Blah blah blah. Whatever and et cetera, et cetera, and um. And then when my mom was just hating me for no reason, and as I said, she'd been pissy with me, even though I'd been bending over backwards to please her, not saying word wonder, or not saying boo, treating with kick gloves, but she's just irritated. She wants to be able to do things on her own. I told you what happened even, you know, when we traveled far to go to visit a friend in the nursing home, and she wanted to go by herself. We're on the fucking train, and I said, Mom, we, you know, you were like in sardines there at Russia, or a train, regular, you know, the train. I said, Mom, hold on tight, because we had to stand. No assholes were going to offer us a seat, of course, for my mom. Sorry, I didn't even, I could stand fine, I'm saying she. My elderly mom, a seat, of course not. Hold on tight, what does she do? At the precise moment when the train is lurching, it lurched hard. She lets go for no reason. Luckily, I had my hand on her back. I'm treating her like a baby, though, you know, when I do that. And then she would have fallen straight backwards, and she's like, oh, she's like, you saved me, okay? All of these things you can't know unless you witness, okay? But to, to my mom, I'm just being mean, and she, she can say that to anybody and be believed. One of the things she was saying to people, because I heard her, she keep, she won't let me walk home, you know. But my aunt is obviously unconcerned because she's having her in that apartment and she's going to be cooking. My mom's going to be doing all of her own cooking and Marion is completely unconcerned. You see? You see how I was just... But see, Marion is delusional with her little make my sister well again. And that's why people, remember, Marion was not hands-on, so Marion doesn't know. And she didn't live with her. She don't know unless you live with the person, okay? I mean, if we want to be blunt here, the woman who takes care of Angel was around my mom more than Marion was. If my Marion saw my mom that one day, and the woman who takes care of Angel is here, you know, has been here hanging out before or whatnot. If my mom, whatever. The fact is, they know. They've witnessed it. 
and it wasn't like I gave him, it wasn't like I, my mom was, was constantly leaving stoves on or something, and I, you know, I didn't give her the chance to, based on other behavior of hers I observed, that could easily carry over to my fear of her having this free reign to the stove. Just don't cook while I'm not home. You know, the behavior I observed was very concern. I was, you know, it was very disconcerting. She was constantly losing stuff, but not losing it where I couldn't find it. Like I said, she took Angela out without a leash. Was nonchalant about that. It turned out that the leash was right in front of her face and had been the night before she'd taken Angela and I happened to be sleeping on the couch and realized what she was about to do again. And I was extremely upset because I have a right to be. Because if she's nonchalant about taking her dog out on a leash, how do we know she's not going to take Omar out without a leash? You know, we don't. That's the thing. You can't predict anything. But my aunt's delusional anyway. Even in her little make my sister well again, because my aunt, that's why my aunt got so upset with me. She even wrote, in, you're, this is why you upset your mom. What? Be, what I'm saying to you, this is why I upset my mom? My mom is helpless. I'm bitching and complaining to you about them drugging her to high heavens, you know? I wouldn't bitch and complain to my mom about them drugging. She can't do anything about it, but you and I can. But you don't care. I have text from her with that. Because I, she didn't want to hear me bitching and complaining. Okay? About my mom being back in the same hospital where she was put on that lithium and stuff with the lithium toxicity. About how we had been t told that, that by the case manager that they were going to do the same thing that the woman in the, you know, her nurse practitioner was going to do instead. They come up with this bullshit thing. We want to make her well fast so we're going to put her on everything under the sun which was five different medications, including Haldol, you know, and as you know, of indeterminate origin, she wound up with 105 temperature and aches and pains and then was taken off the Haldol, which, which the doctor, she was also, that doctor in that regular hospital cut her gabapentin from 12 to 600, but the doctor, when she got back in the mental hospital, back in his clutches, and she, I have tearful messages from her because, you know, that I got into a fight with him. He doesn't care. I, I asked him to keep, you know, to not have me on so much gabapentin to, to, to keep me on with the, that doctor so-and-so had put me on. He didn't care. He says, there are people that are being on 3,600 gabapentin. You're not on that much, you know. They don't care. They don't adhere to any of the guidelines of FDA regarding senior citizens, you know, proceeding slowly. And, and, the, and the things where the, the mem these medications actually cause dementia and, and mimic signs of dementia. It all is intertwined. And auntie's not aware of any of this shit. So I'm being mean, you know. She's unconcerned. She's having my mom in that apartment, and my mom is going to be able to cook whenever she wants to. Because for me to have ever been concerned about that, I'm just being mean. Just like I was mean to not let her walk my dog. And I already told you, I didn't reach that decision lightly. I reached it based on observing her behavior. Auntie is not going to be living with my mom. You understand? Her little text... I want to be able to, be, to keep a close eye on my sister and try to figure out whether it's her mental health, i.e. whether it's all your fault she had these breakdowns, or her age-related mental decline. You won't be living with her. You won't be observing shit, Marion. Understand me? You will not be living with her if you don't see her on a day-to-day -day basis, which is what's your dream, which is why she wanted me out of here, so no witness to her mental illness, okay? You're not going to know, period. You're not going to know just because she goes upstairs to have a little visit with you. If you don't live with her, you're not going to know, period, folks. You understand? You're not going to know, period. You have to live with her on a day-to-day -day basis to observe anything to any great degree. Okay? So I was completely just fucked over in this, made out to be just mean to my mother and controlling and there's no reason for me to have not wanted her to, to, to cook alone or to walk my dog or this, that or whatever, you know? Of course she's going to cling to her sister saying all that shit. Her sister's just going to act like that my mom's fine. I want to try to make my sister well again. You're not going to be living with her, Marion. 
If you were living with her, you'd be able to observe her behavior. You guys get that, right? That's why the woman down the street, the one who was really pushing me and upsetting me. So, because I don't want to hear her saying that. I'm trying to find alternates. I'm trying to whatever. I don't want to hear her saying, you mum, blah, 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 you know. Nobody knows what goes on in that house but you. You get it? My mom can go in these mental hospitals and of course she's going to, in her, going to cling to it being all my fault and she'll be perfectly fine with her sister who loves her so much and it's going to, and, and trust her to be in her apartment and cook all by herself and all this crap. I've told people that. I told the woman down there. I told angels. I'm like, she's like, they're like, she, she's going to be cooking. Yep. She's going to have her own apartment. Yep. And Marion is completely unconcerned about that. This is not a case where Marion took her sister into her own home. Okay? You can't observe shit about my mom's behavior unless you live with her 24-7, period. Period. And that applies to anybody. So... My mom, you know, and Marion works, and someone else said to me, so what's your mom going to be doing while Marion's working? Pfft. Watching TV, doing whatever she did here, listening to music. She's going to be cooking all her own meals. I highly doubt, I mean, that, that, you know, otherwise why would she have gotten pans and stuff? Right? Because I'm, you know, that's why they always say something has to happen. Well, I didn't want to have something happen, so I nipped in the bud. I did all my all the cooking. My mom doesn't need to cook anything if I'm doing all the cooking, right? She doesn't eat elaborate things. She only eats peanut butter or tuna something for lunch, so I cooked all the dinners. And breakfast and lunch, she didn't cook. And she had eggs once in a while, and I'm here most of the time, so I just said, please don't cook when I'm not home. Because I found out one day she did cook when I was not home. And it only takes one time for something to happen. And any of us can have that happen, you understand? And that's what Marion's thinking. That I'm just, you know, anyone can make a mistake. Anyone could ever. No! You did not ever in your life live with her. That's why I'm so angry, people. I already told you I'm enraged that my aunt can do this to me and get away with it and make it all out that I'm just ridiculous and I'm just wanting to stop her from trying to make her sister well again and she can't even throw me crumbs. She can't even, she's not even being legally forced. That's what I can't get. She's not even legally bound to treat this like a landlord-tenant situation. If this is a landlord-tenant situation, she could never in a million years turn off the heat and electricity. Okay? As a, if a landlord turns off the heat and electricity on you, you march right down to the courthouse and report that landlord. She also could never come here without my permission, without telling me ahead of time she was coming. This is sick that, that this has happened to me. It's sick how she can twist everything around, and I can see it so clearly. She looks so wonderful. I'm just a controlling monster, and I was too hard on my mom, you know, wanted to, you know, I treated her like a baby and all this crap she pulled with me, you know, saying to me, I know it's bullshit. Again, you don't know unless you live with the person. Marion's not going to be living with my mother, okay? She's not going to be observing any type of behavior that I observed closely regarding my mom and the two dogs and her, her just, her brain, whatever, what was going on in her brain, okay? And that can easily carry over to something bad happening, as in, you know, a fire. I'm a horrible person. That's why, you know, I'm done. I'm sickened, sickened by this. Sickened. Hopefully nothing will happen, but based on the behavior I observed and based on my knowledge of dementia and how it doesn't go away, it only gets worse, don't count on it. And I won't know anyway. All I know is that my mom's going to cling to that. Everything she wanted to do on her own, she'll now get to do. Oh. Will Marion even let her go off by, her, by herself and whatnot? Who knows? Who knows? 
Remember, I just made it all up. I'm just trying to be mean and controlling to my mom and keep her down and this, that, or whatever. And she is perfectly fine. And how dare I not allow her to walk my dog? How dare I say that 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 she she um, ask her? You know, I couldn't force her, but I pretty much said, please don't cook when I'm not home. I'm here most of the time anyway. You know. How dare I do that? I'm just being mean and controlling and there, there's nothing wrong with my mother and I'm just trying to keep her down and treat her like a baby for my own benefit and I know. I know exactly what my mom was saying to that hospital staff, okay? Because now she's hating me and I'm an easy scapegoat. It's easy just to make it out like I see it so clearly because I'm fucking really smart. I'm fucked up in the head but think of the life I've had. You know what I mean? But I'm smart, and I know. I know. I know. And I know, and my conscience is clear, why I reached the decisions that I reached. They only regarded safety. My God, I told you what happened. I really think that eating so healthy and the supplements and all that and me making sure she drank plenty of fluids when she would listen to me, you know, kept it at bay. Because that two years ago, that thing, when we had, she had that worst breakdown ever, I told you, she, she, no, actually she was doing that. That's another reason why I didn't want her to, re, what, um, wanted her to use the stove. That's right. That's another reason why she was hating me. Because I went here to witness her mental illness. I think I've told you guys this. She would go back, she would get up with Angel when she had Angel here really early in the morning. Three, four in the morning, whatever, and I'm sound asleep in my bedroom. And she would go back to bed and leave the door wide open. I put, I should leave it wide open. Okay? Now, wouldn't, in your eyes, you guys, wouldn't that carry over to, hmm, maybe she shouldn't be cooking on her own? If, no matter what, she can't remember to close the door. And even when I put a sign on the door, big sign on the door. This was this, these last six, these last time that, remember, Marion saw my mom once. Marion hadn't wanted my mom to come home. Marion had said, if that's the best you can do for my sister, transfer elsewhere. And now Marion gets to swoop in, save the day, listen to everything my mom says and believe her. And they can talk about how horrible I am and how I treat my mom like a baby. You know, she couldn't remember. If you can't remember to shut the goddamn door and you leave it wide open and go back to bed, should you be using a stove, people? Am I a monster to say no? She couldn't remember to close the goddamn door, okay? And then when she was remembered to close it, she couldn't remember for the life of her to lock it. I think I've told you guys this. I sure as hell have told the woman to give Angel one that she couldn't remember to lock it. I put a big sign, this big, please keep door closed and locked at all times, and she still, inevitably, never. It's not like once in a while she forgot Every single time she got up with Angel, she would, even with the sign on the door, would not remember to lock the door. So that's another way of being mean to her. Because I would point it out. Did I yell and scream at her? No. I'm like, Mom, it, it, it's like the most important thing to me. I put the sign on the door. I don't know what else I can do. Please lock the door. I can't stand sleeping and knowing the door is unlocked. You know, being sound asleep and you going back to bed. She couldn't remember to do it. And now she's going to be in Marion's downstairs apartment while Marion's at work and Marion's doing whatever and my mom's going to be cooking. And hopefully nothing will happen, but based on my observations, you guys tell me. There's a huge sign on the, I mean not a huge, but a, you know, a full big 8 by, okay, pet sign. My mom knows I'm upset when she doesn't remember to lock the door, right? There's a sign right there at eye level, she's tall, I'm tall, please, you know, to lock the door behind her, and inevitably there's not one single time she remembered to lock the door. Would you guys not be concerned about her cooking if you weren't home or something? If, if I mean, why can't she... Why can't she lock the door? She knows how upset it makes me for her not to lock the door. And there's, I put a sign. And she still can't remember to lock the door. Why? You tell me. Why can she not find... Why did she lose the dog's leash that she lost? And it was right there where she put it right in front of her face. 
And then I left for the day again, and I came home, and she lost both leashes again. I said, did you take the dogs out? No, I couldn't find the leash, so I, they just went to the bathroom on the floor. Would you want somebody cooking when you weren't home, when you couldn't supervise them under those conditions? Would you? I don't think you would. They just want to make me out to be the scapegoat. Like, I, you know, I, Marion has said it, and you are the cause of all your mom's breakdowns. I want to make my sister well again. You're the biggest stressor in your mom's life. It's a bunch of hooey, okay? It's a bunch of hooey. If you don't live with the person 24-7, you don't know. Marion is not going to be living with my mother, you understand? She's going to be in the downstairs apartment. Just like when Bobby, the landlord, was next door, me and Bobby lived, lived in the separate part, you know? You're not living with the person. We weren't living with the landlord. It's not like someone takes in their, their mom or something. Like my aunt, at the end of my great-grandmother's life, took her in and she was living there. Marion's not going to be able to observe any behavior of my mom's. You understand? You can't do that and during visits. You can only do that if you live with the person. But I am untrustworthy. I have ulterior motives. I want to keep my mom down. And you spend all her money. And I don't give a shit. And I'm just being mean. And like when I said to Marion, when she first called and made that original offer, I said, you said, you, you know, she's probably going to wind up in a nursing home. You don't know that. Why do you have to be so negative? Why can't you put your mother ahead of you yourself for a change? I'm willing to take my sister in and make her well and try to make her well again. She's sick in the head. I mean, she's this screws loose because just two months prior she had said to me your mom belongs in a nursing home she was done with everything she sat back allowed me to take full responsibility and then conveniently gets to blame me in the end and reach out and save the day that's bad enough okay if, if, if it was sincere and she wants to try to help her sister whatever but remember she's getting a lot out of it but she's also using her ill-gained power because she smeared my name and doesn't tell the whole truth and the judge doesn't know shit about what really went down how are these hospitals keep discharging my mom too soon and switching around her meds etc against family's wishes sending her home I mean come on tell me that doctor shouldn't have lost her license who put my mom on triliptal on Wednesday sent her home on Friday discharged her in such a horrific condition that two days later she had to be sectioned again telling me that woman shouldn't lose her license okay but I'm the bad guy I just am mean to my mom for no reason and try and treat her like a baby and trying to control her and of course she's going to eat up like candy when oh and, and Mary can, can say oh yeah my poor sister you know she just her daughter doesn't give her a chance to breathe and she just no I observed her 24 7 I don't work I'm here all the time the woman who takes care of Angel would come over here and visit, bring Angel to visit and hang out with my mom a little bit, whatever, and she observed stuff. Like she said, she's like, yeah, she almost sat on Angel. She doesn't pay attention. All of that stuff. I, I give her money because otherwise she, she, she oh, and she, oh, and I also was treating her like a baby because I didn't want her, again, she loses everything. I cried to the woman who takes care of Angel. I'm like, I'm like, she wants to hold on to, she wants a credit card and wants to hold on to the checkbook because she loses things constantly. She's just going to constantly lose the checkbook and credit card. I'll be replacing them constantly. What am I supposed to do? I don't want her to access the account that gets her check and pension so and all that. And how do I get, what do I do? Because she agreed with me. Someone who's losing stuff all the time. But again, I treat her like a baby, you know, for no reason. There's nothing wrong with her. She's perfectly fine. And that's what Marion believes. Because if she... That's why it's, I mean when I said it. I, I know what she said to a judge, too. I'm sure. I'm sure. She could say anything. She could say anything at all. Sick. So sick. I know the truth. And that is why I'm fucking enraged. Okay? Because the fact is, she's not, you get it? I want you to think about this. You, she can say, oh, it's out of the goodness of her heart, whatever. But she is acting so, so giddy with power, she won't throw me crumbs. 
she had $75,000 of my mom's money and can't even pay the utilities on this place What? where I don't want to be, where it just kills me being here under these circumstances and allow me to save up my pitiful little disability check. She won't even do that. So what does that tell you about her? Is she really just doing all this out of the goodness of her heart? No, she's loving the fucking power she got, one, she did over me. She's loving it. Her little Christmas cookies hanging on the door. Her little, I'm turning the, you know, the utilities off and it's not like I didn't give you warning. And, and, um, and I, won't, I won't take your mom's TV if you need it. And it'll be your mom's Christmas present for you. My son will even, like, like set up a high, like she's being so good, a high definition antenna for you, you know? She's sick in the head. She's sick in the head. That's why I would never go ahead and let her do it. I'm going to film that. I'm going to give the guy who comes here to turn it all off. I'm going to say, you want to know what my aunt's doing to me? Here, go check out my YouTube channel and you'll know. No way in hell am I going to make this easy for her. No way in hell. Because if this was really on the up and up and she just wanted to make her sister well again and whatnot, would she be treating me this way? Would she be just, you know, holding that power over me where she won't even treat this like a landlord-tenant situation? I think not. That is why she's full of shit and only ignorant people are unable to see through her phony bullshit. And I'm grateful for the people on my side who see right through her phony fucking bullshit.